So it's quite possible that, in fact, currently with the programming language, you could mm -hmm. probably do the R2R3 uh, if you have the KHR2 or the RTB3 module. And a, and a quad processor. Uh, well, no, it, uh, <laughs> that, that doesn't require that any, doesn't. any power because okay. it's just sending data via the serial port. So oh, okay. You don't simulate anything. So. Okay. So that's. Uh, okay. So w if if I understand you correctly, what you're saying is that you could I emulate all the functions or duplicate all the functions in, say, the RCB3 heart to heart. Actually, the heart to heart. No. Three. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, that would that'd be extremely useful because then you could extend it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Instead yeah. of being locked in, and you could do it in English, right, or French, or German, or <laughs> whatever, whatever you want. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's that funny. would be extremely uh, yeah. interesting. Uh, that's something which is not that difficult to do. All right. Uh, okay. Easy. Easy for you to say. <laughs> <laughs> I almost did it once. So, uh, uh -huh. because once you define the system is based on services. Okay. So once you define your service. Yeah. The link between the the visual programming language and mm -hmm. the service is done by an interface, which is almost common. Okay. So, my guess is that if you define the service properly, yeah. then you should be able to create a motion from there. Okay. Uh, I've not done it, so yeah, I've not even tried. Yeah, I've not even tried the visual programming language because I'm still stuck on the simulation. So. Yeah, uh, yeah. But yeah, it's uh, something. If it's good enough, I think it might replace the code mm. that I was going to do in C plus plus. Oh really? Because I, w I was intending to do everything in C plus plus. Yeah. Um, because mm -hmm. well, I don't really like uh, doing stuff this way, but <laughs> I prefer to be in control of the sure exactly what's going on. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, but there is benefit to have everything mm -hmm. visually uh, mm -hmm. visible. So mm -hmm. uh, you could imagine having if if you imagine my robot with the webcam service. Right. Uh, there is a webcam service in the. Oh really? In the, okay, in the already built already, into it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, not ma yet managed to have it working, but that's something else. Uh, so you could imagine linking that mm -hmm. to a um, form recognition service, mm -hmm. for example, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and link that to have some kind of output like form recognize or yeah. something like that, yeah. and have a small. The graphic uh -huh. brain saying, if form re uh, recognize at this position, then mm -hmm. turn the head right. that direction or sure. move that direction, sure. stuff like that. I mean, you could do it visually. Uh -huh. So that would make probably a big difference. Yeah. Problem is, once you start adding more and more stuff, how easy would it be to display everything? Sure. So sure. that's that's another problem. But yeah. It's, it's probably quite. Uh, it will be easier to approach for someone who doesn't know mm -hmm. C plus plus or, or who doesn't want to code everything. Yeah. That's something else because yeah. uh, it's easier for me to code in C plus plus than uh, to make any parts of the robot. But uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, for people. Without programming experience, then. yeah, people have different skill sets. Yeah, and, uh, you know, it's Even like I, I couldn't I couldn't build a robot from scratch, or maybe yeah. I could, but it'd yeah. take me forever, and yeah. I'd, I'd get frustrated. But I can take the kit, and then I can modify yeah. it, right? And yeah. then I can do the programming because yeah. I love the programming yeah. uh, side of it. So, so it's yeah, how difficult is it to get the uh, the whole environment installed and up and running, Re realizing that it's pre-release, way way pre-release now? I think it's quite simple right now. Yeah. Uh, the kit itself, uh, you have to download the SDK, uh, you need the DirectX mm -hmm. and the proper DirectX card if you want to mm -hmm. do the simulation, so that's okay, that's one. Uh, for the visual language, I think you need the .NET 3.0, mm -hmm. uh, which there is a link somewhere okay. uh, to download it. Uh, yeah. It's not in the package, I think. Uh, 
and after if you want to program mm -hmm. you need uh, Visual Studio okay. version so you mm -hmm. can use the free the free version yeah I was going to say there the, is a free version up but, what's yeah. the name uh, Express Visual yeah. Express yeah. Studio Express yeah. uh, that's working apparently fine mm -hmm. so you can use that Mm -hmm. So everything is free <laughs> from Microsoft. That's great. That's, that's, that's really unusual. <laughs> For now, it's yeah. free. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. start now before it's <laughs> <laughs> before they uh, start charging for it. Yeah. Huh? yeah. So yeah. I think installing is not really an issue. I mean, set use the default for, uh, directories and stuff, and everything uh -huh. is running fine. Uh -huh. uh, the documentation is pretty sparse. Well, that usually comes later, yeah. if at all. So. Yeah. It's in English. It's right? in English. Not in Japanese. No, it's yeah. not. It's yeah. not in Japanese. Yeah. Uh, well, let's say the little there is is in English. Okay. Okay. Uh, so you have to be prepared to to dig. Yeah. And use the forum, uh, Microsoft forum. Okay. For that, the guys are, are great over there. Uh -huh. It's just. Uh -huh. uh, and so this morning, of about the bug, I reported uh, uh -huh. earlier this morning, and. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, Mm -hmm. So it's a really what? active forum, a lot yeah. of people... Yeah. Uh, there is quite a few good answers uh, of mm -hmm. pro problems that I've encountered. And also I don't know exactly when the guys are walking because uh, receive answers sometime at uh, 10 o'clock in the US in the east, the west coast, so mm -hmm. I don't know when, uh, what hours they're doing, but... Uh, yeah. uh, well, they could uh, be there, yeah. they could be in India, they could be... Uh, well, I place. doubt they're in India because... Uh, there was a thing there in Seattle, in fact, in the yeah, so in the yeah, quarters. Yeah. Uh, there is a great video also showing the the guys uh, on the website. Uh -huh. uh, uh, a tour of the installation of the small group. Uh -huh. uh, and that's something like five, Hour six, or five or six people. Yeah. In the the group. Yeah. Uh, from four, five different countries. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. You can see the accents. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's great. So, that's, uh, um, do you think there are many people working w with uh, humanoids with uh, the package no. at this point? No. Okay. Almost none, in fact. Okay. That's well, we know one, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> most of them are industrial robots. Mm -hmm. um, most of them have wheels, mm -hmm. uh, because also that's easier to model sure. in the simulation. Sure. Uh, very few have so many uh, free linkages yeah, and degrees of freedom. Seven, yeah. Seventeen degrees. I mean, that's yeah. uh, in the simulation. You have the arm with four degrees, and that's yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, and it's fixed on the ground, so, uh -huh. <laughs> so it's uh -huh. a bit uh, limited. Um, however, they have been putting way more work in the sensors area yeah. mm. uh, because a uh, few of them have laser range finder mm. uh, vision. Mm -hmm. uh, now they've, there is even a simulated webcam oh, really? uh, okay. module for the simulation, uh -huh. uh, which is probably very important also if you want to model a robot with vision, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. They have simulated laser rangefinder mm -hmm. also, mm -hmm. where in the simulation you can see the laser trace cool. on, the, on the objects. It's, cool. Uh, it's really yeah, nice. I have to check that out. It's, uh, they have bumpers, they have a text to voice also uh, oh. module. Okay. So uh, you can type stuff, and you can, if well, your robot yeah. is equipped with the, the module, then, you can. You can yeah. yeah. Okay. The other thing also is that because it's all in. Um, in .NET, it can be distributed, mm. so you can have the service running physically yeah. on the robot if the robot is equipped with a PC, uh -huh. and that's one of the demo they have. They have this massive mm. cart-like mm -hmm. uh, robot with a PC mm -hmm. in in it, mm -hmm. and using a Wi-Fi connection or mm -hmm. uh, uh, for the network, and so the guys are on their desk and. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, connecting uh, on the, the the PC remotely and uh -huh. uh, typing text and the, the the robot is speaking. <laughs> it's, it's it's great. It's uh, it's, uh, it's yeah. interesting. Yeah. yeah. This this yeah. part is interesting. Uh, 
obviously nothing prevents you to do the the module the interface on your PC and have mm -hmm. a custom uh, protocol right. remote protocol for the right. for the robot so you can imagine having a very small uh, control microcontroller on the, the robot uh -huh. and a wireless connection to something mm -hmm. on the PC doing the service right. Right. so that's more or less what I will probably do.